This video will illustrate how to do a multiple step scientific notation problem. One that might look like this. Here we have 0 0.007 over 200 divided by 5 times 10 to the 4 over 2 times 10 to the negative 2 times 5500 divided by a half. The first thing to do is to convert each of the numbers into scientific notation if they're not already in scientific notation. So with 0 0.007, I'm moving my decimal 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right. So this becomes 7.0 times 10 to the negative 3. With the 200, the decimal is here, and I am moving it 1, 2 spaces to the left. So it becomes 2.0 times 10 to the positive 2. The second fraction is already in scientific notation. So I'm just writing it down here. 5 times 10 to the 4 over 2 times 10 to the negative 2. Next I have this 5,500. I am moving the decimal 1, 2, 3 spaces to the left. So 5,500 becomes 5 point five times ten to the three and then I have my divided by one half. Now the next thing to do is to deal with the fractions that are being divided. Turn them upside down and multiply instead. I'm going to copy this fraction down and I'm going to get rid of the point zero to take away clutter from my calculations. So I have 7 times 10 to the negative 3 over 2 times 10 to the 2. The second fraction has to turn upside down so that I can multiply it instead of dividing. So the top becomes 2 times 10 to the negative 2 and the bottom becomes 5 times 10 to the 4. Be careful not to mix this up with the operation where you might move 10 to the negative 2 to the top into the numerator and convert the negative exponent into a positive one. It's not the same operation. Here we are doing the operation we learned in elementary school where when you divide a fraction, you turn it upside down and you multiply instead. Because that's what we're doing, the signs of the exponents do not change. Now I'm going to express 5.5 times 10 to the 3 as a fraction simply by putting it over 1. And, again, I'm dividing a fraction, divided by a half. That means times 2, and I want that expressed as a fraction, so I also put the 2 over 1. Dividing by 1 half is the same as multiplying by 2 over 1. Now it's time for us to combine the terms. We're going to start with the constant terms in the numerator. We have 7, times 2 times 5.5 times 2. When you multiply those out, you get 154. Now we're going to work with the powers of 10 in our numerator. We have 10 to the negative 3 times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 cubed. What we're doing is we're adding the exponents because we're multiplying. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5, plus 3 is negative 2. We end up with 10 to the negative 2. Now for our denominator. The constant terms are 2 times 5 times 1 times 1. That multiplies to give us 10. The powers of 10 are 10 squared times 10 to the 4. We add the exponents. 2 plus 4 is 6, so we have 10 to the 6. We can combine these two terms in the denominator now because we ended up with a 10. So 10 is 10 to the 1. 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6 is 10 to the 7. Now we can combine these two powers of 10. 
we have 10 to the negative 2 in the top and 10 to the 7 in the bottom. Because it's in the bottom, it's being divided. So this is 10 to the negative 2 divided by 10 to the 7. You subtract the exponents when you divide. So 10 to the negative 2 minus 7 becomes 10 to the negative 9. We're not quite finished. 154 is no longer in scientific notation. It has three non-zero digits to the left of its decimal. We have to obey the rules of scientific notation. The decimal is right here to the right of the four, and I have to move it two spaces to the left. That means 154 becomes 1.54. Because I moved two spaces to the left, my power of 10 becomes more positive. So the negative 9 becomes negative 7. This is how you do a multiple step scientific notation simplification.